to today's episode of Huber Syndrome. It's all about August release dates. Hey everyone, welcome to the show. We are already in August. Can you believe it? It's my birthday month. I'm a Leo. Could you tell? But we are here in August. The year's almost over, but thankfully August has a couple gems, a couple gifts that we are about to receive. So let's take a look. Kicking off the month on August 2nd, Madden NFL 20. I have been out of the Madden loop for what feels like four or five years now, so I don't really have anything to add to the Madden conversation, but every time I do play Madden, it's a really good time. It's super fun. So another year, another Madden, here it comes. We gather here today looking toward our future. That same day, the Church in the Darkness, a kickstarted, cult, open, ended narrative, isometric game. Looks pretty cool. It's getting a little bit of buzz. Uh, we'll see how that one shakes out. Next up on the sixth, Age of Wonders, Planetfall. I don't know much about this series. I don't know much about 4X games, but thought I'd give it a shout out because, uh, you know, people are so passionate about this genre. So as long as we keep getting games in this genre, those people will be happy, and that makes me happy. Beginning with a large-scale military coup d'etat that erupted in various cities throughout the nation, freedom was dead in America. That same day, though, on the 6th, Metal Wolf Chaos from Software's weird mech president game. I don't really know a lot about it. Ben Moore is super hyped, so I expect to see some coverage down the line. But uh, Metal Wolf Chaos, a little peek into From's past. A generation born without souls, without a future. Next up, we have a uh, kind of a string of Switch ports. On the 8th, it is Pillars of Eternity Complete Edition. Uh, if you've got a Switch and you've never played Pillars of Eternity, this is the time. This is your chance. Next on the 9th, Sword Art Online Complete Edition. And then on the 13th, Friday the 13th on Switch. I, I thought this game was like under lawsuit or something. I have no idea what's going on with Friday the 13th, the game. Uh, those were some great streams back when we, when we did those. But <laughs> Friday the 13th, coming to Switch. Well, hello there. Also, a little sleeper on that day, Rebel Galaxy Outlaw, uh, the sequel to Rebel Galaxy, kind of this space battling, ship blasting, uh, space <laughs> game. I think I said space seven times there, but uh, Rebel Galaxy Outlaw kind of sneaking up. Then on the 20th, Double Finds Rad, a rogue-like looking Diablo-ish isometric. <laughs> Just check out this footage. It looks awesome. The soundtrack is cool. The visuals are cool. It's Double Fine. I love roguelikes. Really excited about this one. And then pretty much... The series that just keeps me going right now, you know, every day is one day closer to the continuation of Life is Strange 2. We're getting episode four on August 22nd. That is the fourth out of five episodes. The fifth will be out in December, just in time for the holidays. But uh, just, I, I cannot wait to continue the journey, just episode four, here we come. Look out for the spoiler mode with Elise Willems. That same day, Tokyo RPG Factory's next game, Oninaki's coming out. There was a demo um, that just came out recently and Tokyo RPG Factory's cool, so Oninaki is coming up. So on the 27th, we got some big hitters, starting with Ancestors, the Humankind Odyssey from the creator of Assassin's Creed. It's his passion project, his next game, and it looks wild. This is a PC exclusive for now, uh, but it is about evolution in the prehistoric era. You are apes evolving into humans. It just, it looks really wild and unique. And uh, I, I can't wait to see how this one shakes out. Oh. 
But that same day, one of the main events of 2019, Control Remedy is back. Sam Lake is back. Control's coming out. And every time we see this game, it just looks better and better. It just recently went gold. That is such an exciting milestone for Remedy, for Control. We just, we can't wait to explore the oldest house. Someone once said that you can't go home again, but they lacked vision. And, and, and this is just such a stacked day. We've got Ancestors, we've got Control, and we've got World of Warcraft Classic. A few years ago, this would have been really tempting. Uh, my plate is a little full right now. I don't know if I personally will be able to join you in Azeroth of old, but the fact, the simple fact that, that World of Warcraft Classic is even a thing, that it exists, that we get to go back in time, basically, and experience this game that started it all, that's still going, not started it all, but, but you know, really, really propelled MMOs to another level. I mean, World of Warcraft, it's just, it's still going. And now we get to go back to day one, World of Warcraft Classic. I'm, you know what I'm doing right now? I'm talking myself into playing WoW Classic. I don't have time for this. Oh, shit. <laughs> and then lastly, to round it out, a couple games launching on the 30th. First up is Blair Witch, which I am cautiously optimistic about. It's on my radar for sure. Love a good horror game. Really like the Blair Witch. We have unexpected guests. And that same day, we get a double dose of horror because the Dark Pictures Anthology, Man of Medan, is coming out from Supermassive Games, the team behind uh, Until Dawn, and recently The Inpatient. Uh, really excited about playing this with the allies. Hopefully we do a full playthrough group stream because that just, you know. If you were there for Until Dawn, you know what that entails. I've been waiting for you. As you know, Earth is currently under extra-dimensional attack. And lastly, the main event for many of you, Astral Chain from Platinum Games launching on Nintendo Switch. They kind of got a dream team going over there. They got Kamiya supervising this thing. Platinum Games coming out hot cop drama. Really excited to dive into this game because I've, I've unintentionally been media blackout. And now that it's getting so close, it's like, all right, I think I'm ready for some Astral Chain. All right, everyone, that's it for the episode. That was August's release dates. We are Easy Allies. I am Michael Huber. Uh, if you like what you saw, check us out on patreon.com slash easy allies, youtube.com slash easy allies. All the easy allies. Good stuff. We will be back next week. Enjoy August. Enjoy some games. Love and respect. It's time for the scene highlight of the week. I recently just watched in one day the entire Dark Knight trilogy. It was a pleasure. But the scene I really wanted to highlight was in good old Robin goes to save Commissioner Gordon. Commissioner Gordon doesn't need saving. Clear the corners, rookie. Clear the corners, rookie.